Hi, so we're back. So in the last episode, if you remember correctly, we had an incoming migrant wave. I've already taken the liberties of doing a few things in Dwarf Therapist. Uh, some things we received was another miner, a carpenter finally, a second carpenter. Um, I've also got this carpenter here doing bill making, so that relieves uh, this guy over here to uh, just do wood cutting, I guess, for now. That's how I said him, at least. Uh, there's a couple other things. Um, this guy I'm going to have to do wood burning, as well as possibly potash making, soap making, lots of other good stuff. We received our first gem cutter, as well as a couple um, blacksmiths and uh, uh, armorsmiths, and I actually think I'm going to switch a couple things around, just because um, it's good to have a weaponsmith and armorsmith differently. Then they'll add, I think. One's going to be doing a lot of weapons, one's going to need a lot of armor. Um, so let's uh, talk, you know, a little bit about what I plan to do next. Also, um, I now have 60 dwarves, and if I go to options and hit don't display children's or babies, uh, that should have made him appear. Hmm. I guess I don't have any children. Population 47. Uh, well, whatever. We'll see in a moment. Um, they have to get in here first. So, I've got my uh, woodcutters. I should also know as well, the reason that they weren't um, picking up any of the wood was simply because in the options, I had gather wood as ignore wood. So now I have gather wood, and they should now gather all that wood, which will be. Nice. Uh, my current plan is then, um, these guys are building out the hospital, as you remember from last time. And what I plan to do is, I plan to have them uh, get all this stuff out here, and then I'll probably start getting rid of all the stuff in the millsmithing area for the millsmiths to start working. He has to bring up the refuse out, the shells and such. Turtle shell, wrench skull. So we got a little bit of stuff, you know, so when someone has a crafting fit, they'll be good to go. Uh, how am I doing for this? I still have only puppies, but eventually those will become dogs and I'll train them into war dogs. And then they will get my entrance. I'll also probably start killing off some of my animals because I'm getting way too many. And even though there's still plenty of grass there, um, eventually I'm going to get invaders. And what they will do is they will, you know, go wherever and kill whatever. And that'll be kind of annoying. And also he's building his roof slowly and surely. I also, also know I have a new mason as well, which is nice. And I'll probably start working, worrying about getting a manager soon. Actually... Mm, is that the bookkeeper? Yeah, there he is. I'm going to make um, the bookkeeper my manager. So that's Minkot Toskit. And I'm not going to make him actually do any work, per se. But um, what will happen is that he will um, enable me to set profiles. And what I do with profiles is I can go up to my um, mason shops and say, Hey, I don't want anyone except the best working here. So if I go to uh, workshop profile with P in the Mason's Workshop, I can select uh, which um, Masons I want to be permitted, or I can select what type of uh, skills they must be before they are permitted at all. So um, we got Masons, Masons, Masons. This is one Mason, Imish. He's a 
um, novice mason. So he's getting good, and he's the architect, but I want him, you know, more or less to build stuff outside. This guy is not really much of a mason at all. He's this guy I probably just threw in. Down here we have actual masons that are actually worth uh, being called masons, and they're like, you know, professional and talented. So we'll go with um, talented only. So you must be a talented uh, mason to work at the mason shop. And I'll fix that so that only the talented guys can, or higher, can work there. And as you can see, my gem car is going full blown power. So I'll have plenty of uh, guys like that. Um, seeing as how the water has been filled all over the place here, I think I will flood, I'll flood you know, all the crap here. I think that'll be enough irrigation for a while. Don't need a ton of irrigation. Nice to have, but not needed. Okay, they're slowly killing out, filling out that hospital. It's going to be 16 beds with a nice big giant stockpile next to it. And, um, oh, someone just found a crash construction of the floor. Uh, make bedroom. That's the expedition leader. That's the, um, these guys are like the manager and the bookkeeper that'll be. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'll make this guy will be whoever the mayor will be. I'll have it out in a moment. This Mark, 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 Mark will be a mayor soon. And what we're going to probably do, I'll have this like, you know, it'll be like a bedroom for the mayor. And then on top of that, maybe, you know, or maybe it'll be his workroom. And on top of that, we'll build just a little bit more for his bedroom. And that'll be for the mayor. Mayor will have nice big ass quarters. Big ass quarters. And we'll just build this. So I'll be for the mayor. And um maybe we'll put some like doctors in this area here. So if um there's an issue, you know, if like Oh, it's good to have doctors, I think, next to your medical area, just in case something happens. And we'll just put the doctors here. So that's that. And then, um, it's funny how there's so much less space there, but whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Well, whatever. I'll have it like that. I'll do this later. There we go. And I think I'll actually cut this stuff off because there's no need for me to make the hallways just yet. I don't have a mirror yet, so we'll let them do other stuff first. Who's idling? My mechanic is idling, and that looks to be it. So let's get my mechanic working. I only need two pets. Traction benches are used for fixing bones and such. Um,
Uh oh. Um, you should probably note this. He's grown attached to his copper crossbow. That usually means that he's gonna, you know, be attached to his crossbow. Um, which is important. Let me try and find that guy. It's Olin, no, Eschen Limungen. Or is a relationship? Be funny with a relationship to his crossbow. Doesn't look like it. Um, I want to zoom to his location. In inventory. As you can see, he's got a copper crossbow. He's not going to let go, I don't think, ever. Um, is what it means. Unless he dies. As you can see, they're now all grabbing this wood, which is nice. A for grabbing wood. Ah. Uh. So I got a couple of these miners, and they're still doing stuff they should not be doing. Stone crafting. Our doctor. Probably do this now. So I have 60 dwarves. So that should be my maximum for now, I think. I might get a few more depending on how many uh, babies get born, but I shouldn't get any more migrants at this point. So that's worth noting. If you're wondering how like population cap works and all that. So mine's must be almost done this area. Yep, almost done. Okay, so we'll get them to go to work clearing out this next. And basically I'm gonna have a nice big whopping area for um tons and tons and tons of crap. Literally tons and tons and tons of crap. And this will be like smelters. And like mills to hops. Um, I think that's what I want at least for now. And here comes the horde of my miners. Do this too, just because I need a wood furnace. As a note, this is probably way more miners than anyone could ever hope for. Uh, but I'll leave it as is because, you know, it's quicker. And eventually I'm just going to draft all these guys into, into the military. They don't have no miners. Because I don't really care about legendary miners anymore due to the update. It's just, miners is good for building up strength now. Other than that, this may, all you need is a lot of picks and then you got yourselves an army of miners to do your bidding and all that. Okay, so that's almost gone. So what I'll want here, um, we're going to want bars, I guess, to be over here. And that'll be just for metal bars. So that's first. Yeah, they're taking forever, but that, they're slowly getting it all done. I can actually build one of these now. Should we know that for the um, Metalsmith's Forge, as in workshops, you need an anvil to build one. So I'm only going to be able to build one of these. Won't be able to build a second.
And I believe the uh, what you build out of has to be safe from, from melting and all that. If you're using magma, magma forging, then it has to be magma safe. But I'm not going to be going anywhere close to the underworld, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, that looks like a nice narrow area done. Uh, next to my forges, I think I'm going to have a nice narrow, nice big other pile that is designated for, let's see. Would it be under stone? Or maybe it would be under bars. Let's see if it's under bars first. I can always switch it. This will be coal. So I want to block all and I want to permit coal only. That's probably actually the wrong thing to do first, but oh well. Uh, in addition to all this, I actually need more space, I think, because I'm gonna be carrying a ton of stuff. All right, so let's build a smelter. I want to build furnace. I want to build a smelter. So we have uh, smelter one, smelter two, and I want a wood furnace two over here. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yes. You have to make everything. Symmetrical and all that. Uh, well, you don't, but I do. It's just how I am. But then again, so does everyone else, so it doesn't really matter. If you're not symmetrical, there's something wrong with you. Plenty of wood. What am I doing up for here for wood? Looks like it's all gone. That's not what's good. I should be noted. I think I got myself an engraver. So yeah, this guy's gonna be engraving. And I have a sense of the brew too, I guess. I need to make brewers? No. So you can stop brewing. Brewing's important, but I've got more than enough drinks and plant and all that to survive now. There's no uh, problems now concerning that. Concerning that. <clears throat> Quite a bit of crap here now. Ah, there he goes. So he's going to start uh, smoothing all this out and then We'll have fortifications afterwards. Up here, there's someone said they canceled something. So let's do that. Um, build more floor, I hope. I hope they can build more floors. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough blocks, it, which sucks. No, I'm not going to make blocks. So we'll wait for them to build more blocks and then I'll build another floor up there. I bet what's happening is that the masons are busy building the floor instead of being in the masons workshop at this point. Uh, 
Uh, right, let me click. This is rock doors, rock blocks, and nothing's happening there. But whatever. Uh, okay, build anything here. Ah, I probably have enough crap. I don't need to get more crap. How's you doing? You haven't been doing anything at all. Well, up here. I should have. All right, so we have a visit from the humans. So the humans have come with merchants in tow. Um, well, that's great, but I don't really need them to um, trade with me at the moment. Let's look at these. I'll actually make a note of the civilization screen. You can look at here to see um, what type of uh, trades you've made with them, what type of offerings, exports to, imports to. Uh, there's the kobolds. You look at them. They export pay noise and they import def or something like that. They export pay noise. We we export def. Uh, you look at the goblins, they will probably uh, offer terror inventions, which means eventually they will start sending baby snatchers and uh, lots of other vengeful stuff against me, sadly. Uh, the elven is there, nice. You know, we've offered and imported some stuff to them. Humans, they just came. Lots of damn guys in theirs. The deity isn't showing up, though. Um... And we haven't offered anything to them yet. But it's good to know. I'll have to watch out for those goblins soon. They'll be attacking when it's whenever. Uh, now, what was I going to do? I was going to do this. I don't have a stockpile for cut gems. So, let's build one. And this is where cut gems will go. And most likely, those cut gems will be offered to the humans. What's good about that is that it'll give my idol or something to do. Of which I have. Oops, those are miners. So they've mined out all down here already. Um, well, let's do the wood furnaces. Get them out of the way. The one good thing about with these miners is that no one can complain that uh, it's taking forever for me to mine everything at this pace. So the stone. I'm going to put my flux stone, or not my flux stone, I'm going to put my uh, metal ores here. These will be smelted down into crap. Uh, forbid. 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 And we're going to put here. This will be um, flux stone. Sable. Enable. Block. And we'll put the gypsum like uh, block all. And I'll just do it this way. Uh, what's the other one? Was it Calonite? That's maybe the other one? Oh, here's the easy way of finding out. Go to stone, and down here you can look at what. Um, might be so that doesn't make uh pig iron or anything like that. So was it selenite? Oh they're past plastic powder. Um it makes ore of silver or copper. Rod may dying. Limestone limestone, dolomite, chalk, marble. And there's a fifth flux stone. Is it spell right? Nope. Nope. And from this, you can actually set it so that um, you can restrict them so that they're only reserved so for your restricted tasks. So if I had marble, I could do this. And now my masons won't make anything from chalk or marble. And I might do that. It's you know not a bad idea. It saves all the chalk for more important purposes. Though it doesn't really matter. I've got so much of it. Uh, magnite, that's for iron. Calcite. Makes steel bars. That's the other pig iron, so. Um, that's the other 
or for flux. So if I go here and I go to economic calcite, this is the other one for flux. And all that will be um, available for my dwarves to uh, smelt. And we'll make it all even. Even it out. He's constructing beds. Uh, but first needs architecture. Looks like the architect's there. Let's make something like barrels, maybe. Barrels are actually important, even with the stone pots. Um, I find that certain things only will, will, you know, they require a barrel. So it's important to have some barrels still. All right, so that looks like it'll be done. They're all done, so let's see here. What else do I want? This looks to be all mined. Uh, I could do this, the barracks. I think I'm gonna do the barracks, so why not now? So this will be where my troops are gonna be eventually. My troops, they needed barracks to stay in to be fit and ready. And I like to put right next to uh, combat because um, it's close to where to train. Spiring doesn't wake them up. Combat does wake them up. And I want to be woken up by combat because if they're woken up by combat, they might actually go fight. Do their orders. All right, so All right, so that will be where my troops are going to be staying. Alright, so we have got some bedrooms going. Alright, so we'll let our miners get to work on all that. They are eating through that grass quite quickly. Pack. So yes, as you can see, I've got a problem. Wolverine women are attacking my pets. Um, basically, there's on a mountain. There's two main threats they have to worry about, and one is called the Wolverine, and there's this like stuff that snatches your stuff. The main threat. You know, stuff that's next to your stuff that's easily dealt with. Wolverines aren't so much. This is a Wolverine man, which is even worse, I guess, but... Um, let's see here. They have uh, not killed anything yet, but they could, so... It's time to start worrying about military. I was hoping to do this later, but I guess I'll have to do it eventually. Um, military... Well, I have to go assign guy first. I need a military cam commander. And out of all my guys, 
they're here. Um, click, click. So these guys all have military experience. These are all the military dwarves I have. Technically this guy too. I have no idea why he's in there. He just is. So these are all the guys of any sort of military experience possible. Um, this guy, the wrestler, he's a... Yeah, he's a demon wrestler. Um, I probably don't want to get him killed. I could, but... Actually, they're all, all my guys are going to be important, so I don't want any of them getting killed. Um, so let's first, let's look at what I want killed at, you know, if I get one guy killed. Um, this guy is the, just a basic hunter. And I'll probably just look at getting all these hunters and such uh, killed. Possibly. Mark's door, you know, they don't, they're good at bow, using bows, so... We'll look at them first. This guy's just uh, proficient, skilled, skilled, competent. So the best guy seems to be the first guy I brought, Kit Crossed. Um, so we'll make Kit Crossed my military commander. All right, and then we go to Ab for military, and we start worrying about um, making some squads. I'm going to use the Archer template because. What that does is that it sets all these guys to have equipment, um, leather armors, and individual choice range. They're, that means they'll try and pick up individual uh, crossbows and such. So kick crossed and whoever joins them will be uh, um, using leather armor and individual choice range if it's available. Crossbows are, the other stuff isn't. I'll also assign them a bunch of bolts. Um, Or you can raise this. Wish there's a faster way to raise the bolts. As you can see, I actually have a problem with bolts. I need to build way more. Um, that's the hunters. Damn it! I just raised the wrong one. Uh, so I want hunters, you know, to not be whoring the bolts. It's important that hunters have bolts, but I don't want them taking a bunch of bolts. Uh, 100. Who I want is the Oakley Times. And I want them to have a thousand bolts. And this will give them tons of ammo to shoot at Wolverine men and women. Alright, so now I need to add a bunch of guys to his squad. Um, Actually, since this is an option now, I'm going to name the squad, and this will be Militia Command Archer. And this guy will have archers with him. But we'd like to have, you know, him train with other guys, but we'll do this for now. Um, Ashton Limino, you are... Actually, I'll go from this screen. These are just uh, hunters and such, so one guy is a dire hunter. Nothing too important, so as Binamug will be joining him. So that's him out of the way. Eshton, he's just, you know, a regular guy, nothing important. Kubuk, that's, I think, the... Oh, there's a different guy. So we have two Kubuks. Uh, okay, Kubuk Wood. And I always do this, like, checking to make sure that I'm not losing anyone important. That's just a Miller. You know, not too important. A Butcher. Well, the Butcher isn't going to be joining us. Um, this guy's a Fisher Dwarf, I guess, too, but... That's not too critical. So, Lore and Melville, they'll be joining.
or rash and noble sack. Do I have anyone else? Obuk Kolgast. He doesn't be too important. So, Obuk uh, Kolgast. So there's my uh, first little weaponized attackers. They'll go out to die a horrible death. Sorry to say. Um, so next, I want to get my militia cannoners stationed. So they have to move, and I'll have them all move right here. So let's get this into work. We're going to have a bunch of um, Mark stores up here. What is this guy doing? I forgot to do something important. Um, stones are heavy. So these guys who are moving stuff into these stone piles aren't using any wheelbarrows. And that's not exactly good. So wheelbarrows are going to be an issue. Stone, stone. Uh, bars shouldn't be as much of an issue. But I do have to build more wheelbarrows. So, construct bed, construct one barrel. I'll get you to stop being beds and you can make a bunch of wheelbarrows. Okay, we'll get them going. As you can see, a bunch of more stores are appearing. What the? So if you look, um, we've actually got a bit of a problem. One of the Wolverine Man has actually come to play with my Marks Dwarves. So um, he's taking damage at least. So that's the good news. Looks like one of them is about to kill it. Let's see here. The rest of you should... Oh, they're already killed it. Um, so that's one, uh, apparently dead, dead and missing, Wolverine man or woman or whatever. Others, I have to get rid of the other guy, and he's right where, over here, up in this hill. So, let's see, we're going to have, since they're mostly assembled, my squad come up to kill this. And we are going to follow this, and we'll see what this guy does when a bunch of dwarves come to kill it. All right, looks like we've dealt with that. So, they're done. Uh, giant Wolverines are actually the real ones you don't want to worry about, but for now, I don't know if Dingo Men are going to be too much of a nuisance. I know Dingo's going to be a real nuisance, but I'm not sure about Dingo, Dingo people. I'm getting lots of Dingo people, I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, watch these guys, hopefully. Oh, there's my saving again. So my archer squad, they killed a bunch of uh, um, wolverines, and now we will Start worrying about what they shoot next, so. The craft horse workshop next to the board shop will start constructing wood bolts. And 
and I'm going to actually chop down more trees just because it never hurts to have multiple multiple trees chopped down. It seems these grow like crazy. The weeds, the weeds that must be cut down. Apparently, I still have plants to uh, harvest. How nice. See, as you can see, they're carrying rocks around because I don't have wheelbarrows assigned to those piles yet. But they're getting there, like, slowly. So we got one furnace. I'm going to build some more furnaces now for the other areas. Ah, because I uh, took out, as we know, if you take out, you know, um, chalk, like, you just notice I couldn't build it before. Like if I go to try and build my furnace now, Chalk. So note that if you want to build from like you know materials and if you're building from you know stone menu, you can't use them anymore. But now I can. And there we go. Bunch of chalk workshops or furnaces are. And this is gonna be set to full blown make charcoal. Repeat. Who are the wood burners? There they are. These guys I plan to have wood burning, so wood and wood cutting apparently. So we'll have you guys only wood cut and wood burn. That's, that's the job. On the bright side, at least having all those guys, you know, uh, um, Doing that makes leaves them from being idle constantly. Uh, what next? So they probably mined out most of these rooms except for these ones because I didn't connect them. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, what's important? Something I was thinking of doing is I'm actually going to make a cistern near the water or a reservoir for water. And basically, the point of that is that if I need water down in this direction, it will be there. So we will do this. I'm going to Make one big long. Right about there. Run line thing right there, and we're just gonna build out a nice big giant. Um, big giant area for, well, maybe not that big. That's a bit overkill, I think, because water doesn't, you know, evaporate in smooth areas, which I'll do. We'll do this. That'll be big enough. What I'm basically doing is I'm going to uh, mine all this out, and I'm basically going to channel um, a bunch of uh, bunch of channels up. Not channel. I want um, upward ramp that goes up, 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 up. Up, up, and you get the idea. I could do stairs, but you know. Um, okay, so that's the wall right there. So we will move the destination, and down here we will 
make a bunch of uh, paths to go underneath. Oops, that's a bit too much right there. So up here is water. And I'll build a ramp right here when it freezes. Oh, well, it won't be this big though. Build a upward ramp. Um, well, let's actually do this. There. An upper ramp and then like with some floodgates and such and that'll let me control wire that goes all the way down toward this cistern. And I will actually make something, you know, to get the water from. That's good enough. Sort of. There, that looks fine. Well, I know what I'll do. There, and I'll put well right smack like somewhere in here. Or that'll be fine. Um basically I'm just going to have a um a little well for doctors to get water from for the patients in this zone that I'm gonna make. Uh zone. This'll be where my doctors will be doing their um Doctoring, surgery, and such. We will actually want to channel one of these places. Um, right there will be fine. Well, let's, you know, be safe. I'll do it right here. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. Being very careful of the cistern. I'm going to make. Uh, I should be doing this. Actually, I didn't make that many beds. I'm gonna need a lot of beds. What's great about hospitals is that they can act like dormitories. So all these beds, they will be sleepable in if there's uh, lazy doors nearby. Uh, construct back, construct. We we want you to stop this. Barrels are nice and all, but I need to make some uh um wheelbarrows for hauling other stuff too, because that'll take forever if I don't. At least they're slowly getting that done. Who's not doing a job? Masons aren't doing a job? That's wrong. Masons should always be doing a job. But it really is doing no job. Oh well. I guess that means that my floor is done! Why are you not done? Yeah, they're leaving. Oh well. Oh, I got a dog finally! So, floor training. Why is there no dog available? It's in there somewhere. Uh, okay. Monum Lubidno. That must mean that I have a... Yay! A boy! If I go in here, I've got, yeah, I've got a dog that's 
a pet to someone, so we will not worry too much about that. I don't really want to get someone's pet killed, because that would be dumb. Let's build some doors. I love me my doors. Need a door. Oh well. And I also want to get rid of these. Don't need them anymore. Shapes, that looks like it's done. Go down here. Did they start this uh, cistern yet? No, it looks like it. Oh, because it channeled down, they actually had an access ramp for it. Now, I hear you're supposed to have, like, you know, ways out of this, so. We will build a way out of this um, death trap if it ever becomes one. Right, maybe here? I'll put down here. So, if they fall in, they can get out at these places. And I'll just, you know, build a hash cover for it, maybe to. Just in case you know stuff. Oh, there we go. A stray dog. I, I can train. Or training. As you can see, they're slowly going up. Humans are gone. It's funny, I didn't actually have to dig out all that uh, pathway, but whatever. Oh, someone's been taken by the mood. A butcher. Usually when a butcher gets taken by the mood, it means he's about to claim a butcher shop. So they go down. Um, a craft door shop. Well, good, whatever. Taking wood. Taking a block. Uh, Damp stone. Well, that's going to happen because there's damp stone. Damp stone means that I'm digging near damp stone. So that'll be dug out. Basically, it's underneath the wire there. So, whatever. I know it's damp. Do it anyways. Dig all that out. Okay, so that's done. I want to smooth the stone. Smoothing will let me uh, um, prevent wire from being evaporated, I believe. So why not do it? We will build a wall here, apparently, because I don't need to. Um, we'll actually remove this. I want to build it out of blocks. So wall, I'll blow this out of a uh, chalk block, gabbro block. And up here, up he started his mysterious construction. Good, good, good. Up here we will um, build a well. I need to uh, Well, L. Well, it goes right here. I need chalk blocks and oh, well, it's been an old block. I need a bucket, a rope, mechanism. So I'll build that well. I'm gonna need a hash cover for that.
they'll slowly take stuff out. As you can see, they're sleeping in these rooms because they're available, because they're lazy dwarves. Some migrants have arrived. So apparently I'm still getting migrants. Uh, okay, we'll see what I may get. Humans are gone. Bye-bye, humans. I should actually start be concerned about make, building more floors. Uh, build C F. Build more floor. I'll build those uh, blocks. Ooh, we got a lot of blocks. Build, building up their blocks. I like my blocks. We'll build another bit more floor. That goes pretty far out. Um, but whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough. But I do have enough to start worrying about the wall that I have to build. Because I'm gonna need walls that, um, Try and match up them up, up at least. Gotta get rid of that a little bit there. So, well, I can actually do that with the floor. Just a little floor. Lock it up. No more problem there. Over here, I need to build walls. Just uh. Just a bit of wall. Um, well, we got a nice deep chasm going there. Um, we'll start down here, I guess. Well, let's go all the way. And I'm going to build a bit more wall down there too, I guess. I'm gonna have to eliminate a bit of uh, this. Build wall. See wall. You guys smoothed all that out already, but well, won't hurt. There we go. And purpose for that is I'm going to have to make a um, rising floor ceiling at this point. I have a bunch of idlers. Are they idling for any good reason? Oh yeah, because they have migrants. Hee hee hee, migrants. The butcher is maybe a high wood puzzle box! Perfect for the elves. Um, the puzzle box. This is a high wood puzzle box. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of olus, gibbons, and square building cut gray caledones. This object messes with spikes of high wood and gray caledon. On the item is Ono's snarl scrap, the, or, the dwarf and the dwarves in a giant key letter. 
Oriole Snarkzlet is surrounded by a dwarf. The art relates to the ascension of the dwarf on a Snarkzlet in position of king and on his ability in 40. So now we have that. I go here. Yeah, I already have one saying that. What is this one for? I was a dwarf and that's right. This one all that. Um, nice, but all. Well. Whatever. All right, I've got to. Let's look at what I got. I've got a bunch of dwarves now. Migration wave. If we go down here. This is my wave five. I got myself an air crossman waker. Um, are any guys military? Oh, a bunch of you. You are, and you are. Hunters. Well, we'll put Domus and Limel into the army. I actually have that up, so I should, uh... Worry about that, but... Well, let's do that. I'll do that right now. If you go up here, I had already built basically a bunch of these um, archery targets and uh, such for the guys to shoot. Uh, some of them aren't built yet, but whatever. Some of them are. I will basically make these training rooms for them. So make this a barracks and an armory. This will be for uh, the militia kind of just train and to put their squad equipment. And besides that, they can train and do whatever they want there. Um, down here, we're going to have to eventually make these individual anyways, I guess, because apparently they don't use them if uh, they aren't. I want to do this. I want to make it go from right to left, and they are going to train there. I'll do this for each one. So that's that. Um, well, I'm gonna actually set up a squad, might as well. Um, basically, I can make it so that they can train or guard or whatever. I'm gonna make these guys um, basically do it like this. All ten of them will train at once, but they will not only you know have a, you know a few months off to do whatever else. Um, well, they won't all train at once. I will make it so that only certain ones don't train at once. Uh, train 10 minimum. I want to change that to uh, be a bit less. So I want maybe 7 soldiers minimum will train at once. Well, 6 maybe. And they will train. So select. Shift enter. So there we go. Six minimum will train at once. So I just have to copy this now. Copy. And we'll paste. 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 And that'll be what they'll do. And I'll go to squads and I'll select active for them. And now they will um, train eight months of the year. What's blocking the well? What could be blocking the well? Architecture. They suspended it. Or did they? Construction of the wall. That's a bit different. Why did they not build the wall? All 
I should actually be careful because they could, you know, be stupid. Uh, and active suspend. Suspend, and we'll let them build those. Uh, as you can see, they made it so they can't build that part of the wall. So I have to fix that. I want to be demolish or de demolish uh, construction, and we'll just stop demolish right there. Now we'll let them get back to work. Got to watch them build the wall. Okay, that one's going to be done in a moment. You can build that part of the wall. Oh, it's basically moved. The left ear. Wolverines, they crisp me even in times of uh, peace. Child's removing the wall. So that's done. Do that now. Up here. They should be able to build that, but I'm not sure if there's a problem because of the hill being there, maybe. Oh, there's wrath, there's remains. Uh, I'm gonna actually do this because I don't need those remains in here. Our right, refuse. It's gonna build a nice giant rusty right outside the stupid fort. Well, maybe not there. You know, close. But we will build one, maybe down. Uh, maybe we'll do it all the way over here. This will be the refuse pile. Away from the fort. What the... Uh, People, you know, entering the fort take the body parts. I'll get rid of this because it's, you know, just not needed anymore. So I've done that. I should actually go back to here. One of these guys is a stone detailer. That's fine. I can always use a second stone detailer. Um, the crossbow maker. Uh, I don't need someone just, just making crossbows. So, Vabak, you can do something more important. Uh, you can burn wood. And cut wood. There. That'll be your job. Burning and cutting wood. This is the butchery. He doesn't need to be a butcher. So we'll make you the, well, we'll let you it on, but we'll let you be a stone detailer, a tanner. You can be a stone detailer, uh, a sea operator, mechanic type guy. He can be whatever he wants to be because, well, now nah, we'll make him a stone detailer. And if he wants to be a mechanic, he can. Plant processor, mechanic. Fisher, Lumby, Butcher, Miller, Cook. We'll let him be. That'll be good enough. Now I'll get my um, smoothing jobs out of the way because I need to get those done. I should actually set orders, refuse, and they should gather room remains. Get rid of it. Get it out. Get it all out. You're going to be complaining that that can't be done? Kind of annoying. Blocks, blocks, blocks. How about up here? Looks like we slowly got that out of the way. The floor isn't. They're not complaining about the floors, it's the walls. That's got a stupid vermin rain! 
at least this wall is getting done. So, um, we will build the wall. Hmm, what do I want to do? Well, we'll build a wall. We'll continue building the walls. More walls, more walls. And down here, since they've done it there, we will build this a little bit more. Well, at least they're moving the stupid remains outside. And I'll have plenty of wood to put in my wood stockpile. Might be, uh... Good, I got charcoal. So that means I can go to stage two, which is smelting. And I'm going to make them smelt some crap. Um, what do I want to smelt first? Can they building bars, tetrahedrite. Let's have this guy smelt a bunch of tetrahedrite. So that'll get me copper and silver, and I'll have him get me limonite, because that will get me iron. And we'll get the uh, miners to do some more mining. Because you never have two uh, little smelters going around. Plus it'll make this all nice and neat. Okay, so that's done. Something I think about doing up here was that I was going to have maybe uh, um, my potash and such be done here. I just checked how long this recording has gone. How long is this? Okay, it's really long, recording's getting long, so I am going to cut off in a moment, but... Basically, um, it's slowly coming up, coming through this fortress, so we'll leave it at that.